Welcome to this video. If you're seeing me for the first time, my name is Jada. Do well to like this video and subscribe. Even if you don't agree with what I'm saying, please like this video. Even if you're angry, please like this video. If you like my face, like this video, okay? So you guys, today's video is going to be a rant. And by the way, don't forget to subscribe if you're just seeing my face for the first time. So I'll be ranting in this video, but I'm going to try as much as possible to be calm. And not shout so much so i'm sure that you saw the title and you clicked on this video okay yes let's talk about the title someone really needs to say these things right so um i'm a nigerian and i'm going to talk in aspect of nigerians i know that people from different parts of the world different countries experience something like that but i'm talking based on my own experience as a nigerian nigerians in nigeria think you are rich once you are abroad i need to say this thing again they think you are rich once you are abroad you guys it's so annoying because some of them don't even message you to check on you they don't even say how are you they don't even know what is going on with you they just message you and ask for money and then if you don't give them the money you become a bad person now i'm not talking about family i'm not talking about close friends that you talk to like almost every time i'm talking about people that don't even message to check on you they don't even know what's going on in your life but they feel like you owe them something i don't owe anybody nothing like nothing nobody's taking care of me here only my family only my parents the other ones taking care of me so who are you to just come to my inbox or just send me messages and ask me to give you money you guys i'm going to like break down my point and talk about different things i used to be someone that cannot say no like i really had this problem of when someone message me i don't know how to say oh i'm sorry i don't have regardless of how tight it is for me i just find a way to tell you okay i don't have at the time but i'm going to try to see what i can do like i find it so difficult to just come out and say no i don't have but with time i had to learn that because it seems that people just like to take advantage of your kindness they just like to take advantage of how good you are you know right now i don't owe anybody nothing i don't owe anybody money the only people that i owe money should be my family and i owe money to them not like they did something and i need to pay for it i just need to take care of my family appreciate my parents for their efforts sending me here sponsoring and all that take care of my siblings because in one way or the other they sacrificed for me as well you guys know what few weeks ago I got a message from somebody. This person did not even message me to tell me how are you? Are you okay? Have you eaten? How is life? Nothing. This person just sent me a message. How far? Send me money. Broke one kimi. Now to audience that don't understand pigeon, broke one kimi simply means like I'm so like empty. I'm so broke. You guys know what broke means, right? I don't have money. That's what it simply means. So the person just said, how far? Send me money. Broke one key me. Broke one key you. And this person literally sent me account number. How is my business if broke one key you? You didn't make such me to ask me, how are you? You didn't say anything. You just said, how far? Send me money. Broke one key you. What's my business? Then you send me your account number. And this person is not like I've chatted you in the last two months. It's not like you've we've spoken like two months ago or we don't talk often right it's just this kind of people that want to blue room when they remember you they send you a message so this person just said broke one kimi that day i was so pissed off i was so angry you know what i just told him that i look like a bank to you right don't see bank i use pigeon also pigeon is like a nigerian language so i used it also i said you don't see bank now now why you could just be atm you could just send account number like you've seen an atm machine that you just put your card and you withdraw money you don't see bank we could just you just say how far send me money and then i'll just send you money ah are you controlling me are you using something that i don't know you guys that day it pissed me off and do you know that the, when I first saw the message, I opened the message, I read it, but I didn't say anything. And the person had the audacity again to still say, you know why reply me? Like, you don't want to reply me. I'm like, I don't want to reply you. Do you give me money? That's when I finally responded. I said, you give me money. You don't see bank. 
eh? You guys, this thing is so frustrating, so annoying. I have someone that was close to me. The person messaged me and asked for money. As at that time, I was really, really like down. I was trying to like move to my new apartment. And you guys know that moving really takes a lot of things. And that was when I finally told myself that I'm not going to stress myself for anybody. If I don't get money, I will tell you, say, I don't get money. So this person was close to me and then this person messaged me and said, um, I need money. No, please, so oh, I need money. Even though I know that you're close to me, I wish to talk like once in your life, but at least now. Then I said, um, I don't have money. And that was all. Person not respond, not send any message, nothing. Up to today, I think the last time we spoke was, how are you? Fine. That was all. This is somebody that we talk often, like we have a long conversation. But because of I did not give money, then they ran away. They cannot talk to you anymore. So now me saying this is not like I don't use help. I help people, right? When you ask me and um, we are kind of close and we talk often and for you to ask me, I know that, oh, this was so urgent or this is like so deep, then I'm going to help. But then Nigerians make this thing look like it's a must. It's your priority to help them. How? You're not my family member. No, you're not my sister or my brother or my mom or dad. So why do you make it feel as if I must always help you. You guys don't understand. When you live abroad, in almost all the countries you go abroad, you pay your rent monthly. You pay monthly bills for the rent. It doesn't matter how much they charge you, but they collect this money monthly. This is not like Nigeria. In Nigeria, we pay our rent just yearly. Like every year, you pay your rent. So you would have saved enough within the year and you pay. But here, we, we have to pay like every 30 days or 31 days, depending on the month. You have to pay your rent. And you cannot, somebody cannot, because this is their business, right? You cannot come to me and then I tell you, I don't have money. So because I don't have money, I'm not going to pay. These people that give you this apartment to live in, this is a form of livelihood for them. They eat from this money. So we pay monthly. Every bills are paid monthly. And you have to pay electricity you pay monthly if you don't pay they're going to cut the light it's not like in nigeria that when they come to cut your light or something you can plead with them and just give them little money and then they go away and tell you okay come so so day to pay at least they'll give it like two or three days to come back and pay this one nobody be your papa nobody be your mama for this country or for any country where you pay you go pay the money you guys, I need to use pigeon because you don't have father or mother here. You have to pay. Okay, let's say that you don't pay your rent and then they send you away. Who are you running to? It's not like it's in Nigeria. In Nigeria, you can you have family all around, everywhere. Yeah. You can go to your friends, family, cousin, so many people to run to. Here, you don't get anybody for here. Only you is living here. And then in a country where you don't even have a job and your parents, okay, I know that you guys say Nigeria is hard and all that. Now, from the same Nigeria where we not did, now my papa didn't send me money. It's from the same Nigeria, right? That my father struggled so hard to send me the money. And then you guys would just sit and say, send me money. I don't have money because I am bank, because I am abroad. I am abroad. You don't know how I'm faring. You don't know what is going on with me. You don't know if I'm crying every day. You don't know if I'm eating, if I'm starving. You have no single idea. You just send me and tell me, send you money. Nigeria is hard. Everybody is facing it. In as much as Nigeria is hard, even when you are abroad, you feel the same thing. When you depend from home to make all, to get all your money, it's hard for you as well. Do you guys know what they call exchange rate? Apart from the dollar's exchange rate, we have exchange rate to the country you're living in their currency. There's exchange rate. Do you know how it's hard for us? You don't have any idea what we go through, but you guys just feel like we owe you something and then when they don't give it to you you feel like this person is wicked do you know i have someone that has countlessly asked me for money and then i said i don't have and every time you keep asking i don't have money to give to you the last time i stopped responding to the message the person has been saying hi hello hello i'm not responding anymore because it's like when you keep telling these people you don't have they don't want to understand you don't want to see that yes this person really doesn't have they don't believe that because you are abroad you are abroad you have money not everybody abroad has money okay we pay monthly bills internet water bill 
electricity, house rent. You have to pay all these bills every single month. Do you know what? There are some people that it gets to them so much and it's just so frustrating. Do you know that there are a lot of people abroad and they are begging. They can hardly find food to eat. Because you see a person snap picture, post Instagram, Facebook, all in a packaging. You guys, do you want somebody to come and show you that, okay, I'm living poor abroad? Everybody is just packaging their life. It's like people don't understand this thing. Everybody is just trying to manage and look good. That's just it. The same way you're managing to look good. That's how people abroad manage to look good. Do you know how people work hard to make money? Okay, let's say in countries where you can get a job, people work so hard to make this money. And then in a country where you cannot get a job, what are you gonna do? You guys, like this thing is just so frustrating, it's annoying. I just need to put this thing out here. When you see somebody abroad, it doesn't mean that the person is rich. The person is not rich, the person doesn't have money. Eh? You guys should understand this thing. Everybody's managing their life here. It's just manage. I know that it's a better country, better than where we come from or something, but people are managing. So please, I tried as much as possible not to like shout in this video or like raise my voice. Actually, it's late at night, so I just hope that you guys watch this video and you see reasons with me. And if you leave me nasty comments, I'll respond to you because some people can be crazy. Anyways, I hope that you enjoy watching this video. Do where to like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye guys!